Let's go now to Rome's. So the Baltimore Ravens are really habitual line steppers where they're very close to copyright infringement and trademark uh, infringement on the Vikings as being the purple football team that just completely shats all over themselves uh, in conference title games. It's just... Mm, mm, mm. Uh, but the, the Chiefs are at it again in a down season. In a competitive rebuild year, the Kansas City Chiefs are headed to the Super Bowl yet again, and it's Mahomes. It, it, it's absolutely Mahomes, man. And for me, like Brady is the goat. I mean, Mahomes is certainly right there. You can't bet against him. You can't do anything. And whatever you need to play, he comes up with it. And you know what's a, you know what's insane? So the the Chiefs' offense started out so hot uh, in the first half that the Ravens shut out the Chiefs in the second half, and they still lost by a full touchdown. Now, we'll get into this, but yes, of course, with the Chiefs, uh, all, all the Taylor Swift stuff, and I, I, I don't mind uh, the coverage. I, I think people make too big of a deal of it, uh, so, oh, it's ruining the experience. Now, actually, I, I, I don't care that people complain about it. The people complaining about the people complaining about Taylor Swift is infinitely worse, <laughs> Uh, but, you know, it's obviously a storyline and obviously the national media uh, media jackals are going to grab low hanging fruit. And, you know, Taylor Swift has uh, worldwide appeal and she's a superstar and her music is actually pretty good. Not going to lie. Can't lie, man. But yes, uh, two full weeks of this. That's what you're going to get. Mm. But the Ravens. My God, man. So, yeah, you had the one seed. Yeah, Lamar had an MVP uh, season uh, in, in the regular season. But this was just straight up bad. Th this was just bad football. John Harbaugh, I mean, deserves heat. But Todd Munkin's offensive game plan, ridiculously stupid. Like, how do you come into this game and not run the ball? Like, where was Gus Edwards? Where was Dalvin Cook? Where was Justice Hill besides him in the passing game? Like how how do the Ravens running backs have how does Dalvin not get a carry? That's why I don't get like how do the Ravens running backs have six carries for twenty three yards? It wasn't necessarily a game script thing uh, until you let it be a thing in, in the second half, but I, I I don't understand it. And you know, Lamar, like you saw him dancing in the pocket because he was trying to buy time, he was trying to find something deep, uh, but respect to Steve Spagnolo and this Chiefs defense, but there was nothing there through most of the day on the back end, and Lamar got flushed, uh, flustered, and it felt like, it, it kind of felt like when Josh Dobbs, uh, in the, in the I'd say in the Broncos game, and also the Bears game, where he's just like, I can't run anymore, I have to be a pocket passer, otherwise people will hate me. Uh, but I mean, Lamar, yeah, Lamar had some nice runs, except there was so much of meat left on that bone where if Lamar had just decided to run a fraction of a second earlier, he would have ripped off chunk yardage and it's just mistake after mistake after mistake. Uh, the, you, know, you had the strip sack of Lamar in the first half. You had the, the Zay flowers. Oh my God. So you, you feel bad for the kid, but I mean, just the sequence of events for Zay, Zay Flowers was ridiculous. So, first off, he gets a taunting penalty after a big gain uh, on LeJarius Sneed, which sets him from the 10 to the 25. Uh, and then he had a shot where he was going to go in the end zone. And then LeJarius Sneed, boop, future Viking LeJarius Sneed, by the way, if he keeps his helmet on. So, I mean, he, he knocks it out at the quarter yard line. You know, instead of a touchdown, it turns into a touchback. Uh, I, I don't mind that rule when it's not at the pylon and when it's actually a defensive player knocking the ball out. Don't really mind that, but argument for another day. And then Zay Flowers is understandably frustrated. He goes and lacerates his hand, punching the bench. All I can say is I'm really glad that we we got Jordan Addison, man. Yeah, but it was ridiculous because otherwise, like, Zay Flowers was fantastic. Uh, where the hell was Odell Beckham Jr. in, in the first half? Don't really understand it, but Todd Munkin's offensive game plan was atrocious. Like it was as bad as Pat Shermer's thirty-eight-seven, where hey, he had a touchdown in, in the first quarter, and then schwack, just schwacked. And Lamar, Lamar was trying to play. Lamar was trying to do too much. He was trying to play hero ball, and late in the game. Late in the game, like he felt like he had to make something happen, and you know he threw that pick into triple coverage, which was terrible. And the entire time, they're just putting their ass behind the eight ball, where 
I don't know. I don't know. Like, like the Chiefs' offense dazzled in the first half. They did just enough in, in the second half. Uh, but also, you have to respect that Chiefs' defense, man. I mean, Chris Jones, uh, Greek Freak Omenu were getting heat on Lamar all damn day, uh, as well as you know, the back end of that defense. I mean, it was just I, – I love McDuffie and Sneed, and also Sneed needs to be a Viking next year. No big deal. But uh, you have to respect what – what Andy Reid and Mahomes have been able to do, where this is the first year that they've had a road playoff game and they won two, uh, two, where the two, because well, the Bills were like the hottest end of regular season team, uh, and the Ravens obviously had the one seed, and the Chiefs went into their building and punched them right in the face, and they got a win, and for the first time in his career, like Patrick Mahomes has a legit. Uh, elite defense uh, on the other side of him so i think the chiefs no matter all right so we're, we're waiting on lions niners right now i think the chiefs no matter who they play they are certainly going to have a, a fighting chance and i you can't bet against, against patrick Mahomes. now i'm a little bit bummed because uh the ravens getting to the super bowl w- would have been very nice nice for me in a in a bracket pool uh, i'm in but also i sort of hedge that because like how can you how, how can you bet against Mahomes when you're getting four and a half points all right so yeah obviously four isn't as important to th- as three but it's still a wonky number and I was kind of hoping that the Ravens would win by a field goal <laughs> so then I, I could just scoop a loop all my wagers and maybe we'd be spared uh from two weeks of Taylor Swift uh talk but who knows man but either way Patrick Mahomes is the absolute friggin' goat and there's nothing else to say and there's so many plays too where it, it was so frustrating where the Chiefs offensive line they were down Joe Thune who's one of the best guards in the game and you're thinking okay Matabuke and company they're going to get get it uh Mike McDonald uh, uh, he, uh, he, uh is going to get some quick interior pressure it wasn't there it wasn't there yeah I mean they sacked Mahomes twice also Mahomes had to pull like a Gumby act on one of the Matabuke sacks uh, it's pretty insane that Mahomes didn't break both of his ankles, uh, but whenever they need to play, they, they got to play. And I mean, Mahomes isn't a running quarterback, but he runs point zero one miles per hour faster than his near, nearest uh, and the nearest defender, which is just crazy, man. And especially in the first half, they made a couple plays where they just completely pulled that out of their ass. I mean, Kelsey bringing in that one after Mahomes scrambled for nine seconds. It's just, you have to respect it. And if this is the last dance, because I actually think that Travis Kelsey could retire. I actually think that Andy Reid legitimately could retire. If this is the last dance, it's a hell of a dance, man. It's a hell of a tune. And uh, respect to Spagnolo uh, and this defense. If Andy Reid retires, I think that Spagnolo uh, has a uh, has a legit shot uh, at being named the head coach. I understand it didn't work out when he was head coach of the Rams back in the day, but it's clear he's got the respect of his side of the ball. He's got respect from the locker room and this defense right now for the Chiefs. It's kind of carrying the team. I mean, Mahomes and company get it done when they have to, but this defense is the best defense that Kansas City's probably ever had. So, well, except for like Super Bowl four. We don't talk about Super Bowl four, man. Yeah. Uh, anyways, that's it. Uh, instant reaction. Ravens, Chiefs. Come on, Ravens. What the hell, man. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.